Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Nisana Sanjase, a medical officer from Center for Infectious Disease Research in Zambia um, under the tuberculosis department. I'll be presenting to you an abstract on the prevalence of alcohol and smoking among presumptive TB patients in Lusaka, Zambia. So the, uh, the background to this abstract is that um, Zambia ranks among the 30 highest TB and TB HIV burden countries, and it notifies about 36,000 cases per year. And this is according to the tuberculosis uh, global report of 2020. And both alcohol and smoking have been identified as predisposing factors for both active tuberculosis and tuberculosis related mortality. Now we know that alcohol and smoking um, are both modifiable and once modified, we can actually reduce the burden of this disease. 10% of all tuberculosis cases are attributable to alcohol, while smoking among patients with tuberculosis is poorly defined in most countries. So a sub-analysis of social, demographic, and clinical data uh, collected during a prospective cross-sectional study, which was done at George under the TB Reach Web 5, was done. The goal of the TB Reach Web 5 was to evaluate diagnostic and screening tools for TB in patients being investigated for TB. So we evaluated the prevalence of alcohol use and smoking among presumptive TB patients and their overall association with bacteriological TB diagnosis and poor outcomes. A total of 771 presumptive patients were enrolled, and out of these, 58% were male. The prevalence of HIV in this particular population was 43%. When we consider alcohol use, about 43% of the population that was reviewed reported alcohol use, while 19% um, reported current tobacco use and 17% reported previous tobacco use. Out of the 771 uh, participants enrolled, TB diagnosis was made in 144 clients and 99 of these had a bacteriological confirmation, while 45 were clinically diagnosed. Now, comparing between those who had stopped smoking and the current smokers, we had about 24% of those that had previously smoked being diagnosed with bacteriologically confirmed TB, while 16% of current smokers were diagnosed with um, bacteriologically confirmed tuberculosis. However, this analysis had a p-value of only 0.06 and it wasn't significant. Considering alcohol use, for those that reported alcohol use, we had about 57% of those who reported alcohol use being diagnosed with bacteriologically confirmed uh, tuberculosis, while 43% of those who did not report alcohol use had tuberculosis. And we had a p-value of 0.03 at 95% confidence interval. And this result was actually significant, showing that there is a relation between alcohol use and TB diagnosis. So STATA was used for this um, analysis. And these are just some slides to show you the actual breakdown. But since I've already discussed the results, I won't go much on these slides. So the conclusion from the analysis is that generally the prevalence of self-reported alcohol use and smoking in presumptive TB patients was quite high. The descriptive analysis indicates that there is an association between alcohol use and TB diagnosis. However, smoking has a marginal association with TB diagnosis. So our recommendations from this analysis are, the first one being um, possible advocacy on alcohol consumption in our communities by the NTLP and other stakeholders, seeing that alcohol does have a relationship between TB diagnosis and even poor outcomes. And when we look at our analysis, we feel that 
um, the sample size of trials was probably not very adequate. And so we recommend that further studies be done, especially in our population, to further understand the contribution of both alcohol and smoking to the burden of TB in Zambia. So at this point, I'll invite any questions and thank you for listening. <laughs>